Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. The largest organ in the human body is the skin. It's the barrier between all of your important internal organs and the outside world. Think about it. If your skin wasn't there, your insides would be constantly bombarded with bacteria and harmful ultraviolet rays. So it's really important, but it's not without flaws. The most common of these, as some teenagers will know, is acne. And no, it's not caused by eating too much chocolate or greasy foods. Rather, it has to do with the activity of the sebaceous gland inside your pores. These glands produce oil called sebum, which lubricates the tiny hair follicles and skin. But if too much oil is produced at once, or the pores lining sheds dead cells unevenly, they can combine together and make a plug called a cometo. From there, bacteria and even more oil can get trapped in the blocked pore, getting red and inflamed, giving your face a brand new unwanted accessory. Speaking of problems with pores, if one gets infected, it can lead to a boil. The infected area may first appear red and then later become hard to the touch. As your immune system sends white blood cells to fight off the infection, the boil fills with pus, a collection of immune cells, bacteria, and proteins. This causes the boil to become softer and eventually the pus will drain out through the skin surface. Whew. Okay, so now that we're officially grossed out, let's move on to rashes. Yay! This just means that the skin is inflamed and discolored and can have a massive number of causes. For example, contact dermatitis, a common non-infectious rash, is usually an allergic response. When your skin comes in contact with an allergen like poison ivy, T lymphocytes in the blood release chemicals to make your skin itch and inflame. And then we have moles. Whether they're on the face of a Disney movie villain or Marilyn Monroe, moles are incredibly common and usually occur in areas exposed to the sun. They're formed from clusters of melanocytes, which produce melanin, giving your skin its color, hence why they are so dark. Now, many people fear that moles indicate cancer, and that's only partially true. Most moles don't, but some that are larger than a pencil eraser or present at birth may be cause for concern. And if you're planning on going out into the sun anytime soon, make sure to wear sunscreen. Not only will it protect your skin from damage that can lead to skin cancer, but it will also help prevent deep wrinkles. After the age of 20, your skin produces 1% less collagen every year. This, combined with a decrease in elastin, results in thinner and fragile skin. But damage from the sun will cause huge losses of collagen and elastin, creating much deeper wrinkles than natural aging would. Anyway, do you have any of these skin conditions? And if so, do you have any tips to treat them? Let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you come back every Monday for a brand new video. As always, I'm Blacko, this has been Life Noggin, don't forget to keep on thinking.